sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how we can uh, track uh, GPS satellites using an RTL. So I already have it plugged into the computer here and another computer. And I'm VNC'd into that one because that one's a lot faster than this one. Especially running my screen recorder, it bogs it down a good bit. But anyway, these are the two pieces of software that we're going to need. Now I'm running the uh, Noelec Smart T uh, dongle, which has a BIOS T already enabled on it at all times. So it's powering my uh, GPS antenna that I have. So anyway, these are the two different pieces of software that we're going to be using. I'll throw a link in the description so where you can just download these on my website so we don't have to worry about going out and hunting them. So we're going to go ahead and unzip these guys. Oops. And we're going to go and unzip that one. <clears throat> All right, with these unzipped now, uh, one of the things we need to do is when we go into the RTK lib and go under the bin file, this is the one that we need to run. So, but we got to do a couple changes to it. So we'll allow it. We'll make this bigger so we can see it. Now this is the software where it's going to show us the GPS satellites here. It'll show our lat and long over here. Then we can plot some things out also. But one of the things we need to do before we hit the start button, we need to go up here, click on the I, click on number one here, change this to TCP client, change this to RTCM3, click on the little uh, three dots here under the OPT, and type in local host with a port number of 9999 click OK click OK now we're done with that piece of software so let's go back we'll open that guy up then we'll go under the bin folder again and we'll click on the uh, SDR GUI once this one comes up we're going to make sure we have all three of these checked. We have this check, port number 9999, IQ, then the satellite frequency, <clears throat> sample rate. Then down here, you can put in your Latin long if you want. You don't have to. You can put a couple digits of each in if you want. But uh, all we need to do now is click the start button. But when we click this, this is going to open up basically kind of like a terminal window for each one of these satellites that we want to try and track. So <clears throat> we'll start this up. And as you can see, the windows are opening up. We'll allow that guy. So it's just the first time. And as you can see, we have all these windows popping up. But we can let them go and go back over here. Now these windows will stop popping up here in a second. And as you can see, we got some GPS information going on here. So, but we don't need to really pay attention to these. So we can just try to minimize them. But if they don't, we'll just hide them. So now what we can do is <clears throat> click the start button. Now this is going to show my lat long, so we'll uh, blur that out then in software. But as you can see, we are starting to track some satellites here. 
we clicked on the start and we got someone's pop it in here we'll allow that <clears throat> now if you don't put in your latin long back here under that software it might take a little longer but uh, as you can see we got some things coming in and it also depends on the antenna your location and if anything's blocking it and everything else because you know satellite gps antennas basically need line of sight to the sky so but what we can do is once we really start seeing some things we can click on the plot button here and that's going to come up then it'll automatically start plotting some lines now you can change some things around if you want we have different types here now obviously we're not doing very much right now so it's not going to show nothing then we have some options and whatnot here so we can let this go here and see what this does so i'll pause the video and we'll be back all right as you can see we have our light long over here then we got really a lot of action here going on i actually found out i tried a different connector on my uh cable there an adapter going in my rto and it was messed up so the reason why it wasn't really picking anything up so now if we click on the plot again we can see right away it's starting to plot and if you let this go it'll just draw lines all over the place so and as you can see well it's blurred it's gonna be blurred out but uh your latin long is down here in your uh altitude so that's pretty much it so like i said i'll throw a link in the description to my website for the uh two pieces of software that you're going to need and uh that's it. I'll do a couple screenshots of what settings you got to do. So anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.